Okay, so let's talk about this, right? We want to make sense of all this. So the temperature is going to go down. We know that, right? Because what's the temperature of this stuff? 77 Kelvin, right? That's like minus 200 degrees Celsius. Cold, right? Wicked, wick, wick, as we used to say in the East Coast, wicked cold. Um, so as temperature goes down, what's going to happen to the average kinetic energy of these things? It goes going to go down. What does that mean about the change in momentum? How much change in momentum does it need to have? Well, what's what's going to happen to the pressure here, right? So the change, the average kinetic energy goes down means that our velocity is going to be decreasing, right? We're not going to have as large a change of velocity. These things interact with the, um, with the wall of the balloon, and therefore the pressure inside, what happens to it? It goes down. It goes down. What happens about the atmospheric pressure? It stays the same. So what's going to happen to the balloon? It's going to get smaller, right? <laughs> it's going to explode. Right? So because... The ins the, the, it doesn't mean that it's sucking it up, right? It just means the atmospheric pressure is becoming that much larger than the pressure inside. At least that's what should happen, right? Let's see if we can actually make this work. I'm a little worried about burning myself because this is going to go straight up in the air, right? Let's try to do this. Oh, these are my new shoes. <laughs> All right, let's just see if we can make this work. So, we see what happens. It goes down to the ground, right? Yeah! Alright, so, and then as it begins to expand, we see it goes back up, right? I mean, the volume literally decreases so much so that now the volume, right, the buoyant force doesn't depend. Well, let me ask, right? 